Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 5th of December, Tuesday of the week of Advent 1. Henry Ward Beecher, 1813-1887. This one is worth its weight in smiles. You'll see what I mean. Do you not suppose that love has anger? There is no such anger as that which a mother's love furnishes. Do you suppose that when she sees the child that is both herself and him who she loves better than herself, the child in whom her love is bound up, the child that is God's glass through which she sees immortality, the child that is more to her than her own life, doing a detestable meanness, that she is not angry and indignant, and that the child does not feel the smart of physical advice? Do you not suppose that the child knows what anger is, I tell you. There's no such indignation possible as the indignation that means rescue, help, hope, and betterment. You might as well say that a summer shower has no thunder as to say that love has no anger. It is full of it, or maybe... Has love no specialty or discrimination in removing error, nor any continuing intense regard for specific and exact truth? God has it, and we are like him. We are his children, and know it by that. Love is simply that which overhangs all these powers, which gives them quality and direction, and gives to us a larger power through these lower instruments. The Prayer, Book of Common Prayer, 1977. Merciful God, who sent thy messengers, the prophets, to preach repentance and prepare the way for our salvation, give us grace to heed their warnings and forsake our sins that we may greet with joy the coming of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.